text and drive, guys. That check hurt, but I sure am happy to have it. <laughs> Isn't that something right there? y'all that I was going to start explaining a little more about what we're doing and why we're doing it so we're out here in the wheat field we're checking see how wet the ground is how spongy it is to see if we can get the sprayer over it I always like to give it the heel test normally with our sprayer if the heel don't mash that if you heel don't bury up you're good to go uh, we're still pushing down a little bit, so You know, we're looking at spraying tomorrow Saturday would be better But the wind is supposed to be up Saturday and we don't want to spray in the wind. All right, so what we're looking about doing Is we're going to spray a fungicide and an insecticide on this wheat and you say wait your weight is small Why are you spraying? a fungicide and this is something new we are trying with the recent run-up in wheat prices from the Russia and Ukraine uh, war grain has went from just like it was in the seven and a half dollar range a month ago and it has gotten up over ten dollars so we're looking at making this wheat produce all it can produce which now if you like me I got a wheat layer from seven dollars to nine dollars and I've about sold all I feel comfortable selling but those extra bushels any extra bushels we can get as long as this wheat price holds up we will be getting a premium we'll be selling some of the highest priced wheat I've ever sold so that's the reasoning we're trying to push this weight a little harder to get the maximum yield we can get so the fungicide the fungicide portion of it what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to protect all this foliage. We're not wanting to get any disease in it because disease brings on stress and stress robs yield. So we're wanting to protect all these leaves and hold it through until we get to where we put our second fungicide application on that is protecting the head here in West Tennessee, head scab is the biggest yield robber we have. If you get head scab, it can just dramatically decrease yields, in my opinion, by over 50%. I've seen, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Second thing we're looking at is uh, insecticide. We're putting out an insecticide because there's some little bugs called aphids, and they will feed on the wheat and it's not really the feeding on the wheat that gets it it is the they can transmit a disease called barley yellow dwarf and it's a uh, yield robber as well so we're trying to protect this foliage protect against uh, aphids so this wheat has the most chance that it can to produce now y'all know it was in the fall we spray a herbicide, a pre-emergence herbicide to keep any new waves from going up. And uh, that's a product called Zidua and it's really good on ryegrass. 
but we're looking to see if there's any weeds out here. And as you can tell, you can come here and look. This is this is a weed called henbit. It's not very thick out here. You know, it's but I can see it's it's scattered around. And uh, if we do spray it, you can use a product called Harmony. Uh, but what we'll probably use is a product called Culex to get rid of this hen bit. Um, we could probably get by without spraying it, but like I said, with the higher weight prices, we're doing a few things we don't normally do. Uh, if weight was five or six dollars, I probably wouldn't think about spraying it. Y'all notice the tips are the tips are kind of brown. That's from uh, frost. We've uh, you know we've had two or three weeks of real hard weather, kind of bit the tips off of it. This weight's this weight's pretty big. Uh, well, I hope we don't get a light frost this year because it could bite us in the tail. But and with it getting up in the 70 degrees range this week it's uh, liable to try to take a jump and start growing but that's the reason we're making this spray application and we're gonna go scout some more wheat and i will talk more about it at a future date About to break a sweat. That check hurt, but I sure am happy to have it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Isn't that something right there? I guess it's a good thing you did it here in the driveway and not on uh not out on the road. And we got a flat tire back there on the trailer. Yeah. blue tips we're gonna be putting out about 11 and a half gallons to the night to the acre and I'll explain why we chose 11 and a half in a minute yeah Set my thing. We probably didn't pump more than a couple of gallon in.
think of that years ago. I do have motion stuff the same way. the prowess truck driving skills of the Bob.
Sixton Drive, guys. Driver sent me a picture of the water trailer under the shed. Thank you. 